Hey friends, as the year comes to a close, I hope you and your loved ones are healthy and happy. 2022 was uh, an incredible year and I traveled the world. Uh, I was so lucky to be singing with jazz groups, orchestras, ensembles, as well as making my second feature film. I'd like to thank all of the musicians who are with me on this incredible journey and take a moment to say how thankful I am for all of the singing and acting I got to do in 2022. In March, we played a few dates in Western Canada with the marvelous Tamir Hendelman and my new album, Secret Places, which he orchestrated, played the piano on, arranged all of the musicians for, and you can find this on streaming platforms. We traveled down the coast to Los Angeles and ended the tour at the legendary Catalina Jazz Club in Los Angeles. We had a great time. I then had the great privilege to make my second feature film. Please watch for a very, very interesting true story of the Holocaust, Irina Zaval, directed by the brilliant French-Canadian Louise Archambault. It was in some aspects a difficult year, not just for me, marked by the loss of my dear friend, Boris Brat, Zichron Olavracha, and I know Several of my friends have also suffered close losses. My heart goes out to them and their families. Later in the summer, I had the great honor to teach masterclasses, sing concerts in Greece, and also to tour to South America, to five cities with the remarkable Alexandre da Costa and his family and the very talented musicians of the Orchestre Symphonique de Longueuil. We played in Colombia and Brazil and while it was demanding physically, it was a great experience and the audiences were so welcoming and wonderful and appreciative and the musicians were just première rangée. I'm very proud of the Azraeli Music Prizes and our concert took place as usual in Montreal at the Maison Symphonique with Orchestre Metropolitain under the baton of Alexandre Bloch and it featured all the winners of the Azraeli Music Prize and I sang the soloist part for the Azraeli Jewish Prize winner written by Aharon Harlan. Finally, in November, I returned after a long three years to Israel, where I had the great joy to perform again with my dear friend and wonderful conductor, Anita Kamien, and the Hebrew University Chamber Orchestra at the magnificent Mormon Hall. There's a huge wall of glass overlooking all of Jerusalem. Just beautiful. Many thanks to the Brigham Young University for their kindness and generosity.
I'd like to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and a happy, healthy, and safe New Year. Looking forward to seeing everyone in 2023. Stay tuned. We have a lot more music and acting coming. I'm especially thrilled to announce that I've been signed with a very prestigious DGRW talent agency with Matt Redmond in New York City and the hopes that I can soon become once again after, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you how many years, a working Broadway actress. So, New York, here I come again.